World table tennis matchup between Simone Gauzy and Liang, and they're just dancing each other to the ends of the table, spinning each other around the globe, and then all of a sudden, Simone goes for the looper, and then the backhand dart to get the point to take the lead. 7-2, tied up 2-2 in a five-game set. Watch this. That's the looper, and then this one goes low. Backhand around the net, strikes, and then stares. He ended up losing, though. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. And this episode is brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. USA versus Japan. And I'm going to let you know right now, this episode is Japan heavy. I think they got three topics. This is the first one. It's wheelchair handball. USA versus Japan. They tied. They're going to a shootout. Team Japan has their hands in. No one's touching. Very, very post-COVID hands in situation. Oh, boom. Or the, the wheels make it so they can't get too close, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, you get one point if you score. You get two if you do a spin. That's why we're spinning. You get two points if you score after a spin. Japan misses. USA comes. This guy's name, his name is Chase Wolf because that was his favorite activity growing up. No, I don't know. But his name is Chase Wolf, which is also something people do. Crazy people, I guess. He spins. Boom, boom, boom. Bounces it in. What a move right? Flashes the ball high. I'm throwing psych. You see the, you see the goalie wheel up a little bit for the throw. Gotcha. I'm actually spinning. Now you're wheeling way up and I'm a bounce it. Bam. Top shelf after the bounce. So that's two points for USA. That kind of is huge. Cause now Japan's like, Hey, we can't settle for ones. We got to get twos. So here comes Messiah Ito and he's dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. And the spin throw misses wide, right? USA is in a great spot. Penalty shots with points. I mean, you get the first one on the board for two. You're, you're huge. Cause this guy now he could go for an easy one and that's what he does. And he drills it. That was Jeffrey Townsend. So now they're up 3 nothing, and Japan, perfect, perfect. That's what number 10 is saying. Like, that was perfect, dude. Number seven, Masaya Kimura. He has to spin, and he does, and he gets it, and he knows how big that is. Look at these fist pumps. Ready? Yeah, yeah. He's into it. So now we got to go for two again. No, we go for one. Oh, post. Oh, no. So now it's anyone's game because two here would give him the lead. And he misses right. We going for one or two here. We're going for two. Pressure's on. I think he got it. It was off screen. Got it. Oh, done. It's over. It's over. And I think mathematically it is over at this point because Japan's going to score two here. Who cares? Anyway, USA wins. They beat Japan. It's a huge deal. The USA team had not played a match before flying to Egypt for the World Wheelchair Handball Flagship Competition. So congrats to Team USA. As I told you earlier, this episode is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. A chill is in the air. I'm loving the weather. The leaves are falling to the ground. I took a picture of a tree and the ground today because I loved it so much. It's fall. It's fall. Football's in the air. Touchdowns. DraftKings is the best place to bet on touchdowns. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets when you use code MISSED. That's $200 in bonus bets instantly. $200, I should say. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MISSED. Bet just $5 on any wager and you get $200 in bonus bets instantly with promo code MISSED. Support the show. Support me support rob support dalton here we go okay let's stay in japan big deep breath from this guy his name it's spelled ryudin but the announcer was saying it more like dudin with a d so i don't know i'm sorry i'm gonna botch it but big deep breath he is feeling good now this guy this is Hokuto Fuji, Hokuto Fuji. I think you got to say it fast. Hokuto Fuji. And Hokuto Fuji is in the blue and he's got a knee injury. That's why he's got the big brace. So we got Hokuto Fuji on the left and Dearden on the right. And I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to call him blue and brown because I feel like I'm saying I'm so wrong that it's bad. I love sumo. Are you guys ready for this? Because this is the match of the day. 
the match of the day. Watch this. It's awesome. We got the brown belt, and he, oh, big push, but then blue belt just has him on the ropes. Like, blue belt, watch how fast blue belt spun out of this. You think this big push, okay, he threw him back right there, right? No, bad knee, nothing. His feet are on the rope, on that little, like, section of the rope that, that gives him another two inches or three inches, uses the rope, and now he spins out of it to the center. Okay, now he's going to the face. He's trying. He's just pushing. He's just, oh, man, he's got him on the ropes. Okay, he gets out of it on the ropes again, just pushing, grabbing the belt here. Going to try a move. Hoku to Fuji, I think. Hoku to Fuji is a fun name. I think I can say that one. I don't know. Oh, okay. Dearden's got him. He's trying to spin him. No. Now we're now people are clapping. They're like, yes, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a great one. Now here's where our guy Reardon's going to go for a big move. You see that? You see his feet. He opens up his stance, and there's a name for this move. He puts his right knee inside of Blue's, and like, look at that shot of Blue's leg to just show how strong their lower halves are. He puts his knee inside of his knee, and then he's going to try and lift him and because his left leg's off the ground, maybe his right comes off and he can flip him. That's the move he's trying to do. But our dude, Hoka Fuji, says, nah, I'm good. See, he kind of threw him around over there. And right off of that, you got the underarm throw from Blue Belt and throws him. And then Blue actually takes a bigger tumble, even though he won, right? Because he drops Brown onto the ground. He then lands on him. That probably stinks. And then all the way down and kind of <clears throat> slumps. And they're all slumped. They're all catching their breath. Everyone's clapping. What about? Do you say about? That was awesome. Catching. He won. You would think it looks like he didn't win. No, he won. He, he definitely did win. He overcame his knee injury to win. So shaking that knee out. Everyone's still clapping. It was match of the day. People are in agreement. This was the match of the day. They got bow to each other. I loved it. Okay, staying in Japan, but this time we're watching baseball and we're watching Hideki Matsui and Ichiro Suzuki play against high school girls. This is a game to promote girls baseball in Japan and Ichiro and all these ex-stars playing it. This is Hideki Matsui's first time playing in the Tokyo Dome in 20 years when the Yankees opened the season there in 2004. So big ovation because Hideki's been a hero since his coaching days when he was in high school and playing himself, makes the play at third. And you might be thinking, why is Hideki Matsui playing third? Really nice play right to him. He was in left field. He got hurt, like tore something or pulled something or strained something or told Ichiro just like, nah, I don't want to do it. So he's playing the infield now, so he doesn't have to move. And that was nice, didn't move at all. He's got a runner on first, shoots that one past the second baseman. Is he going to go for two? Wow, sliding play right field. Do you say base woman? No, because I watch a lot of softball, and they say, well, I don't know. What do you say? Teach me. I want I want to speak. I want to, I want, I just want to speak, right? Matsui looking at him posting up. Now, remember, he got hurt, so he's like, yeah, okay, you want me on second? I'm tired. He gets a pinch runner because he's hurt, and he's a Deki Matsui, okay? Now, later on, he comes up again, and he's like, I don't want to run the bases. That stunk. I'm going to lock in. Look at these eyes. Look at him. He's locked in. I don't want to run the bases. What's the best way to do that? Okay, I'll hit a homer. That's what I do. Bam, pop, boom. Godzilla goes down. Deep, and he gets the first base, and he turns to Ichiro and is like, can I get the pinch runner to finish this? Do I have to run? And Ichiro's like, go! You gotta run! Let these people, he's really, let these people clap for you. And look at this. And bam! High cheese, gone. Gone! Oh. Sorry, my Yankee nostalgia is kicking in. He was the best. I loved him. He's like, yes, what are you doing? I'm done now, okay? Take me out of the game. All right, that was the show. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you appreciate the show. Shout out to the crew that puts this together. Shout out to you guys for making it possible to do it. And shout out to the sponsors for allowing us. Choose your fan of the week. Enjoy it. Have fun. Tell your friends. Share. Hit the share button, all right? I think that helps us, please.